<laughs> Hardly any sight of any sheep. They've done a great job in this field. But now I'm going to call them to move into this field. Nothing's grazed this field for 30 to 40 days. So there's lots of fresh grazing for them. I'm going to see how much opening of gates I can do before they hear me and start coming. There's still on the driveway, you can see. There's yos down there at the bottom end grazing the driveway and grazing up in the field. So I'm going to quietly open gates and see how quickly they start hearing. The grass is pretty deep. <laughs> Look at this, it's wet too. As soon as I started opening this gate here, they started calling. What's going on? Hey girls! Fun! Woo! Fun! Woo! Kestrel in the lead. Followed by a little bit. Hey girl. Oh. Now it's not little bit. How are you, Selenine? Yes, you good girl. There's more food. Come on! Here comes little bit. Come on! Look, uh, Java? No. Come on, girls. Look, she knows where to go. Hey! No. Lots of deep grass. Come on, girls! Woo! Java, leave it. Leave it, Java. Come on! Woo! Come here, Java. Maya, Java, come on. No, leave it. Come on, girls. Woo! Java, come back here. You're being bold. Leave them be. Java, Java. I'll move the mineral lick, babies. I know, I've got lots of... Eh, Java, leave it. Java, Java, come here. Come on. Leave it. Java, come here. Java, leave it. Good boy. Now, let's see if I can get this last one. Java, Inca, leave it. No, I'm not feeding you. I'm giving you fresh grass. No, don't go down the driveway, please. Go on. Go down in there. Good girl. You go in there. Go on. Java, leave it. There we go. Everybody's grazing. Fresh grass. Now, I better... Oh, look who's come. Hey girls, how are you? Check out what all the noise is about. 
Right, I'm gonna have to walk the field to make sure everybody's here. I don't have to worry about them backtracking because it's all so fresh. But I am gonna close this driveway off so they don't go down the driveway. My handy yoke for holding stuff. An old bucket handle. There we go. Sometimes it's not what you have, but what you do with what you have. <laughs> Look at them, they're all very happy. Spread out and grazing. Ravens, the top of the tree. There's two. Right up there. Two ravens. And another one's flying around. Here's the other one. Flying around. Oop, where is it? There it is. That's the other one flying around. Oh. Oh, there's another one up in that tree. So if I go all the way up, oh. Oh, there's loads of ravens. Wow. So there's one there, one there. This one's flying around. I don't know if you can see it. And then there's two up there. What does that make? There's five ravens. Cool. Okay, I've got to walk down and open the gate to the road. Bank holiday's over. There'll be a Sunday when I'll let the horses out to chew the rest of the grazing. Okay, stay there. Stay. 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 Ah. No, Maya. Stay. So the gate's open. That gate's closed. I'm going to walk that field from the top avenue. From the top, rather. Maya, stay. Nearly all stayed. Java is learning. Maya, no! I said stay. 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 Okay, good girl. Good girl. Good dogs. Good boy. You good boy. You're a good boy. You're a good girl. Yes. Yes, and you're good too. Good girl. Come on. And the cat even stayed and didn't come down to the road. Bear doesn't like anything to do with sheep, so he's on the other side of the gate at the top of the driveway. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to have to walk around that field and make sure there's no lambs snoozing. There go the ravens. Ravens have a very distinctive call. It's lovely having so many ravens. Dog roses are beginning to bloom. Great for nighttime pollinators. They're just beginning. The buds are beginning to burst. And the oxide daisies, a lot of them are beginning to bud up. So a lot of the oxide daisies in here will be bursting into flower soon. I'll show you where they're already in flower, it's great. But this is, this area is very shady. So you can see there's cow parsley down there at the gate. There's more oxide daisies on the left. 
but there's so many trees that it retards their blooming. So the sun comes up over there. So all the trees shelter and then the sun sets over there. So it's all sheltered and the cherries are swelling. We will soon have cherries. These will ripen very soon towards uh, in another 10 days, 10, 15 days. You can see the cow parsley season is coming to an end. They're beginning to go to seed and it's a huge amount of food for wild birds is the cow parsley seeds. I'll be collecting these in my hand by hand and spreading them in the new woodland area that got um, that we opened up all the way over there. But uh, yeah, you can see there's late blooms and this is what I like about having all these kind of plants that will flower for a long period of time because of the different kinds of shade and shelter they get. So the more shade they get, the slower they are to bloom a lot of these, like what I just showed you. And in other locations, they are early because they have so much more sun. So it extends the pollinating and the seed development season for all the birds and insects that rely on them. Somebody's having a scratchy moment in there. What you doing in there? What you doing? So we're getting to the stage where the cow parsley is all going to look very to the aesthetic visual eye is going to start looking kind of ratty and go into kind of a dull tan cane. But that's what you do for biodiversity. Here's another cherry tree. This baby had a few cherries on it last year. I'm hoping it's going to have more this year. It's uh, It grew, it's a self-sown cherry. That one is and that one is. And there and there. So I'm allowing a lot of self-sown cherries to occur. So look at the diversity in the long grasses. Coxfoot and all kinds of things. It looks so beautiful. I love this biodiversity of um, plants. This is, we mow the sides of the lawn because uh, it makes it look like it kind of cleans it up, tidies it up. What's so amazing is this is mulch mode, the center. So many species of plants are on this. And, uh, and I do in particular love the yellow clover. But look at the daisies here. Look at all the daisies. Loads and loads of daisies. And uh, ladies' bed straw is coming up. There's ladies' bed straw, purple clover. There's purple clover flowering. But this is coming up very lovely. All the daisies you can see flowering over there and over there. And believe it or not, for many years, this lawn was mulch mode. Look at all those daisies. Loads and loads and loads of daisies. Another cherry tree. And it's got cherries. And the other beautiful thing that's coming out now is bird's foot trefoil. I love it. It's such a beautiful plant and bees and pollinators absolutely love it. So that's bird's foot trefoil. And then we've got, this is salad burnet. So salad burnet, a lot of wildlife um, self-sown gardens don't have it because its flower is not very interesting. That's the flower of the salad burnet. Here it is again. Not a very interesting flower. And then more vetches and more hawksweed. 
loads and loads of plant life. Well, this is always a sad thing to see. This is a nest that was probably grabbed by a corvid. Not sure whose it is, but look at all the lichen, moss, feathers. There's even horse tail uh, hairs. It's so beautifully made. So gorgeous. And this was grabbed out of a tree by a corvid of some sort and chucked on the ground right there where I found it. Probably they had a chick in their claw and that came away with the chick. And uh, when they were eating the chick, they dropped that on the floor as they flew overhead. But that's nature. Isn't that nature? What are you eating? You found something yummy. That is probably a poo of a sheep or a horse. Isn't that right? You're a happy dog with your poo. It's starting to rain. I'm gonna go inside now. I know, you want out. I'm gonna let you out. Inca, Java. Uh, Good dogs. Woo, it's really beginning to rain. Now, they thought their breakfast was the usual place. Hey, Inca, leave it. Leave it. Leave it, Inca. Look, I brought your breakfast in the shed here. Come here. Look. Come here. Come on. Look. It's in the shed. There you go. Let's go, dogs. Come on. Come on, Blackbird. You gotta come in. Shame I've left these fleeces out. I've just been so busy. But the sun's gonna shine in a few days and it'll get better. Go on, Blackbird. In you go. Java, Java. Leave it. Good boy. Okay. So they're out and they can have their breakfast there and they've got water, access to water there. And if they want to face the rain, they can go out there and graze in amongst my fleeces. Anyway, on to the next job. Isn't that right, pups? Yeah, you're gonna come out. Come on, good girl. Come on, pups. Ink a dink. Come on. Good dogs. And it really is beginning to rain. Plants love it my thermostat. The low last night was 13.2 Celsius. At the moment, it's 15.1. So now I'm showing you this because this, the low temperature is meant to drop. So I'm going to reset there. Now, oh, it's 14.5. Okay. So it's reset and it's not even 9 a.m. And the temperature is gonna drop uh, because there's gonna be a northern blow and it's supposed to nearly freeze or freeze. Oh no, today's Tuesday. Tomorrow it's supposed to do the nearly freeze, I think, or is it tonight? Sure, I can't remember. I'll go and look. I heard a noise and I think there's a young blackbird stuck in here. Oh, I think I see its tail right there. Hey you. Yeah, you're a baby. Actually, you might be a thrush. You're a young thrush. Yeah. That's a gardener's friend. 
they eat snails. Don't you? You beautiful baby. Uh-oh, there's a cat. Where's the cat? Oh, there's the cat. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm gonna open the tops. Hey, jo uh, Maya, leave it alone. I'm gonna, I'm gonna open these and it can fly out hopefully before you come in here. Come here, move, 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 move. Oh, I've got to get those guys out. Actually, I'm not gonna get those guys out until after the frost, because I'm gonna have to bring a load of plants in before the frost comes. Come on, girls, come in for supper and warmth. Java, leave it. Java, good boy. Come on, Blackbird. Atta girl. Come on, sweetie pie. Java, leave her alone. Brindle, leave her alone. That's the last of my hay is under there. So tonight we might have freezing weather. And the sheep at least have lanolin to keep them warm. These girls don't. So I'm bringing them in again. And the sun is setting. It's gonna be a cold night. And these are just, ugh. Oh, I am just so enjoying my foxglove display. Look at that. Isn't that just so glorious? And I mean, it's just, I'm loving it. I'm loving it, I'm loving it, I'm loving it. The foxgloves, the valerian, the white valerian. And you come over here and the purple sage and then the valerian and the catoniaster. Okay, I'm I'm I'd love my dry garden. It's looking spectacular. <laughs>